Joining us today is UFC veteran, former WEC veteran, and he is fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana. Mr. Eddie Wineland, how are you today? I'm good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. I appreciate you for asking. So uh, how was your Easter with the family? It was good. It was good. You know, oh, there's <laughs> – he's, he's going to chime yes. in. That's, that's Sam. Um, it, it was good. You know, I mean, we got, got a few things done around the house. I mean, we don't celebrate too crazy. I'm not super religious, but, um, okay. you know, we, we, we did sit down and have uh, have dinner and, and whatnot. So uh, uh, just mainly got some stuff done around the house and stuff that's been needing to get done and uh, hung out with family. Yeah, what have you been uh, actually doing with all this time off lately? Uh, I've been staying busy. I, I mean, I'm I'm a full time firefighter, so I'm deemed an essential worker. So I'm still going to work. Uh, fortunately, um, you know, outside of that, trying trying to stay as much in shape as I can with all the gyms being closed. So I mean, I'm fortunate enough that I've got basically uh, um, a home gym downstairs. I mean, it's nothing high tech or fancy. It's just a couple <laughs> barbells and dumbbells, but. Uh, I mean, it's all about how creative you want to get, and I mean, you, you can get a good sweaty hard workout with with just yourself. I mean, it, it's it's you need nothing more than just to move. Of course, of course. Yeah, I've actually seen a couple uh, posts of that home gym. What's it like uh, training uh, in the home gym compared to training at a regular gym? You know, it, it's um, it's nice. I mean, I I enjoy going to the gym and seeing seeing my friends. My best friend Jason, he runs Applied Strength and Conditioning, which is where I do my strength and conditioning stuff. And then you know the guys okay. up at New Breed and uh, North Side of Chicago. So I miss those guys. Um, but my mornings are a lot more relaxed. I wake up. I don't gotta. I mean, I still set an alarm, but I don't gotta <laughs> set an alarm to get up and get going. I set up an alarm. Mm-hmm. I I get up, drink my cup of coffee, watch a little bit of news. Um. You know, and, and then when we're ready, we'll go downstairs in the basement, and get started, and then on with the day. And uh, I've seen once in a while uh, you commentate for HFC. How yeah. did uh, you get into that gig? Uh, so Paul and Danielle, which which are the people who, who run HFC, I've known them for a really long time. Um, they used to own a UFC gym out here. And, or it was LA Boxing at the time, then UFC gym took over. So um, I've known Paul and Danielle for, for many, many years. And... Um, I like to talk. I like to talk. I'm, uh, you, usually I'm good at it. Sometimes I'll have a couple of hiccups, but um, I like to talk. I know what I'm talking about, and uh, they, they brought me on board, and, and I guess the rest is history. Exactly. So uh, at the beginning of this interview, you uh, mentioned you were a firefighter. What's it like uh, being a full-time firefighter and having uh, the career as a UFC fighter? Well, it, it's nice because I get my insurance through firefighting, and I still get okay. paycheck, you know, and, and I, mean, I get to help people. I mean, that's 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 the main reason why I took the job is, is doing the right thing, helping people uh, when, when they, they need help, um, you know, and, and that's really the only reason why I can still be a full-time fighter uh, is because of my schedule. I, I think we work, we work about 100 to 110 days a year, so... Those other 250 days, I'm, I'm being a full-time fighter, and I, I get uh, full training camps and full training days in. Yeah, so another thing I wanted to talk about, it might be a longer topic, but uh, bare-knuckle boxing, I don't know if you've watched <laughs> a couple matches in that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you uh, think about that whole thing going on there? You know, uh, a real good buddy of mine, Tom Schof, um, he's actually, okay. he's actually part, part of the mustache mafia. He's, he's got a handlebar <laughs> mustache going on, and uh, he's done it a few times, and... Um, you know, it, it, it's kind of that might be my one more for the road. You know, okay. when, it's, when it's all said and done, it's kind of interesting. Okay. Just, just just to say I did it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I mean, if I do it, and it's kind of like, wow, this is this is pretty intense. Mm-hmm. Eh, there may be a few more rather rather than one more for the road. It might be a few more. Mm-hmm. So. Of course, of course. Yeah. So, who would you actually match yourself up against if you were to fight in bare knuckle? It's so weird because I, I don't know what weight classes I, I don't follow like I don't follow fighting I, I don't follow everything religiously I mean like I should um, mm-hmm. obviously, I mean I, I've got my own training camps going on um, a home remodel I'm, I'm building race cars I'm building motorcycles I mean I, I've got beyond a full plate going on um, mm-hmm. so a lot of my focus outside of the, the fight myself fighting is is dedicated to family and home and, and other stuff like that. Um, but as far as like the bare knuckle, I don't even know like who's in what weight class or it, it's my understanding that if you and I are going to have a match, 
<laughs> that if you say, okay, we're going to weigh in at 152 pounds, and I agree to that, well, that's what we're fighting at. I, I, there's no <clears throat> real set weight classes is my understanding. I could be completely wrong. Um, but I, I don't think I would cut nearly as much weight as I okay. do for MMA. For sure. It's a whole different uh, thing out there, especially because it's boxing, too. Boxing is right. a lot different from uh, MMA and the weight uh, the weight categories. So, sure. uh, yeah. Yeah, so you were scheduled uh, to fight Marlon before this whole thing started. How yeah. uh, disappointed were you that uh, you weren't able to showcase your skills? Uh, that's, a, that's a sour subject. I mean, it's uh, I, and, and I mean, likewise for for everybody that was scheduled to fight. I mean, not not only my card, but the London card. The uh, I think what were they were they Portland? Or, uh, uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So and then of course UFC 249. Um, it's an unfortunate thing, you know. People people they they, they a they want to fight overall they want, they want to fight but they also want to get paid um they they want to get in there and test themselves um so unfortunately for them i mean everybody kind of got sidelined postponed canceled but I, I i don't even know what to call it at this point um they're saying postponed some are canceled so at this point it is what it is i'm just kind of sitting waiting to hear and and see what's going on yeah, so hopefully we see that fight happening sooner than later. But uh, well, was, how do you see? No, no, that, that, let's uh, we'll, we'll go back to that because okay, he was they actually took Marlon and scheduled him to fight Ray Borg on UFC two. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. So okay. that to me says that our fight was canceled. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. I I haven't heard anything. I know okay. I know that that all all this stuff's kind of in limbo and and things are crazy. It's a day by day. Uh, everything changing so so i'm sure they probably don't even know what's going on all i know is that as far as i know i am no longer scheduled to face marlon vera okay interesting thank you for that uh now i know my facts a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh have you heard uh, of this new song by drake uh, the Tuesday slide uh, no, I haven't. No, I'm I'm, 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 a, I'm a rocker, man. I, I'm rock and okay. roll. I mean, I listen to country, uh, you know, old country, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, stuff like that. Um, so it, it, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm over two today. That's yeah. my second one. <laughs> my, my wife, my wife might know what it is, but okay. I no idea. <laughs> that's funny. The last guy I interviewed said the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways, uh, okay, so the song goes. Um, right foot up, left foot slide. Could you show us your best impression of that? Right foot up, left foot slide. Really? Yes. Um, if you can, you don't have to. But man, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. I'm I'm barefoot in short shorts, so that's probably okay. not gonna work. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Which way am I gonna right. slide? Look, I think I'm pretty sure you're sliding to the left because right foot up, left foot slide. Right foot up. Left foot, left foot slide. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. I, 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 used, I used to break dance when I was. Oh, oh I see. I, I, I see. Tried whole, I tried the whole b-boy thing, and uh, um, I used to get the cardboard out and put it in the living room, and I, I, I used to try my best. Okay, you look like a professional in that dance. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of the song. You just don't want to tell me. But uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's uh, pretty much sums up the interview I have for you today. But. Uh, before I let you go here, is there anyone you would like to give a quick shout out to? Uh, the stage is all yours. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, you for reaching out to me for for doing this interview. That's pretty awesome. I always enjoy Appreciate talking, that. To, talking to people that are that are doing trying to do bigger things. Um, you know, uh, uh, shit. Every everybody that was supposed to fight, man. I mean, hope, hopefully everybody's hanging in there, and uh, sooner or later we're gonna get to get in there and do the dance. Um, you know, my gym's obviously applied strength and conditioning. Uh, new breed, new breed in Chicago. Uh, Steve Colon's Premier MMA and and the Nick Wayne Hybrid Hybrid Martial Arts here. They're all all local gyms. Um, obviously, Mustache Mafia and uh, my new my newfound venture of of Five Round Fitness. So uh, for those of you who don't have three hours to spend in the gym, I've been posting workouts that take no longer than 29 minutes. Awesome. Um, it's all it's all a matter of just how hard you want to push yourself. I mean, you get out what you put in. Um, my, my motto is get your ass off the couch and start moving. You might surprise yourself. So, um, <laughs> it, it, the hardest part's getting started, start moving, be, be a healthier you, you know, just, just, uh, get up and get going. Of course. It's awesome. So the last thing I wanted to ask you, maybe two more things, but what's going on with this uh, mustache mafia thing? Mustache what's mafia, it all about? So, so I, 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 I grew a mustache 
four or five years, well, five years ago, but almost, I see six, that, now, yeah. <laughs> almost six years ago. And um, okay. my, my wife hates it. Just compl- she completely Uh-oh. hates it. So when our, when our first son was born, I told her that when we when, when he's born, I'll, I'll, I'll shave it off. So I went home and shaved it off, and then I grew one back, um, started the Mustache Mafia. I tried doing the whole Mustache Mafia thing then, but I took it a little more serious this time. Uh, mm-hmm. we, actually got, we actually got a trademark for it, so I'm stuck oh, with the geez. mustache. She's, well, she's stuck with the mustache. I don't mind it. She, she hates it. Um, That's so, awesome. You know, a tra- trademark the Mustache Mafia, is, it's basically all things manly. I mean, it, it's uh, – I, I'm tired of seeing, seeing, you know, the, the best thing I saw was, was a meme about 18 year old boys in 1945 coming off the duck boats, getting shot dead in Normandy. And I got 18 year old boys wearing eyeliner looking for safe space inside the sidewalk chalk. Um, that's, that, that's not all right with me, man. You, you, you're a dude, man. You're a guy, man up, do some man shit. Um, and not even, not even being a man. I mean, just, if you like manly activities, if you like mustaches, women, if you like mustache rides, get on board. So of course, that, that's kind of what it's all about. Just, just manly shit. Of course. So the most important one I have, I promise, is the last one this time. Have you seen this new Tiger King series? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna watch it. wasn't gonna watch it. wasn't gonna watch it. And then this whole guess. quarantine thing. You watched we're, it. We're sitting down. We're sitting down. So my wife's just getting out of the shower, and she saw I, I plugged down. She goes, "You're gonna do this, huh? <laughs> You're gonna watch it." I did, man. I did. I, I said, okay. uh, I, I watched that hillbilly stuff. That that was, I, I'm a hillbilly. I, I, I Through and through, I, I'm a corn-fed hillbilly from Indiana, born in Houston, Texas. I, I live in, live in uh, my whole house is surrounded by cornfields. Um, okay. Those are some hillbillies, man. Those, those <laughs> dudes are wild. Now, what did you think about this whole series? <laughs> um, I, I, I think there's a lot of uh, I think there's a lot of controversy in there. I think, um, man, I, I I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of uh, a, lot of, out, a lot of people throwing each other <laughs> under the bus. I think yeah, Carol Bask- I, th- I think Carol Baskin killed her killed her husband, and I, no. I, think, Joe, I think Joe burned his own his own facility down. Okay, so, sweet. So yeah. now we now we got your whole opinion on it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, that's all I had for you today. Thank you for joining us once again. Awesome. Eddie Wineland, appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Anytime, dude. Awesome. So we're off air now. Don't yeah. forget to uh, follow all the social medias and everything, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting you back on soon, my friend. Absolutely. Anytime. All right. Stay safe out there.